So one of my favorite things about traveling in Ireland is the bed and breakfast experience. The whole island is filled with bed and breakfasts, and they're normally small, family-owned, personally-owned uh, type establishments, normally in people's old homes. Uh, they normally live in the premises, so it's a really special experience. One of the reasons why I love staying in bed and breakfasts is because you kind of feel like you've walked into someone's home. Uh, they greet you at the door. They generally probably even know your name because they know that you're coming. The nice thing about traveling with Ireland Walk, Hike, Bike is letting them book all of them. And then you just walk in and they know who you are. You don't have to exchange any money. You don't have to say, I'm checking out. Like everything is handled. It's hands off, which makes it feel like an even more personal experience. The rooms are really cozy. Sometimes they're small, so be prepared for that. Uh, but they've got everything you need. They always have an ensuite. Uh, the Wi-Fi is good and they generally also the bed and breakfast have some sort of seating area like this so you can sit down here look at your pictures from the day use the Wi-Fi meet other travelers which is the really fun part about B&B's maybe talk to the hosts um, it's a really social aspect to the bed and breakfast which I love because Ireland is all about being social and so to me when you stay here you get the real Irish experience most of the bed and breakfasts all have things like hair dryers and stuff like that. That also means that all you really have to do is bring an adapter plug for Ireland, basically, for charging your cameras, phones, and things like that. Of course, the other great thing about bed and breakfast is the breakfast, and the breakfasts in Ireland are incredible, at least here at the bed and breakfast. Uh, most of the owners go all out. First, when you come for breakfast, there's normally kind of a, a help yourself table that has fruit and yogurt and juice. And then there's actually a menu that you choose from. Of course, you've got the full Irish breakfast, which is huge, lots of fuel for the day. Uh, you've got some sweets like waffles and pancakes and French toast, and you also have plenty of vegetarian and gluten-free options. You're gonna get a delicious basket of brown bread um, and that oh so good butter. But you will not go hungry at all. And it's perfect for your vacation because if you're doing something more active like hiking or biking, it will give you fuel for the morning. One thing to note is that the breakfasts here at the bed and breakfast tend to start around 8.30 in the morning. They normally run around 8.30 to 10, um, which at least for me is a little bit later than what I normally eat breakfast. But just be prepared, they get a little bit later start. One thing you can do, they often take time slots for breakfast because the breakfast rooms are normally small. I mean, these are people's homes. So sometimes if you're an early riser, you might wanna call ahead and make sure that you can get a spot kind of at the first seating for breakfast. And that might help you get on the road a little bit quicker. I'm Bernie Bambri and I'm from Dingle. Um, and the scones here. I make them in the morning. <laughs> Make them in the morning, get up maybe about 6.30. I'm looking forward to them, that was the first thing I saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to hear. Almost 30 years, so it's a long time. Um, so I quite enjoy it, but it doesn't feel like 30 years. The, the, the secret ingredient really of scones is that you have to be very hot oven and really hot and you know you don't overhandle them and um, I put a lot of uh, butter in mine with full fat milk and some double cream as well so they are loaded with calories but they taste really good so that's the most important thing. 